Let's see another go here on to save. Save. He'll be able to hold back Mirror, but you saw it. Jumping in with the Primal Spring. Oh, That'll get the kill done. Stomp out onto the two of them. Well, it's a force them back off away from his Medusa. And this Nightfall will be able to continue to fight. Nice to come into VP's jungle and set up onto Nightfall. This time round, TP backup will be coming in. Nightfall gets low, though. The Brownless Strike comes down. They take out the Medusa once again. Toronto Tokyo will die for this. But Mira and Yutoro, are they able to make it out of here? Mira, he's been found, caught out by the X Mark. They'll drag him back. The vision's out. They take him down. Maposhka, he's come over, but he can't do anything to help. But he's only going to end up losing his life as well. Let's start. Oh, uh, okay. well, it's all right. Here's the thing says. This hero can farm fast, right? So even though you're punishing it, he has the ability to come back into the game. And look at this. They want to go for GPK. Cold snap. And the setup. They'll be able to sidestep the torrent. GPK. They'll catch him on the retreat here with the tornado and yeah, GPK. This area for now. Top lane. They're looking to try and get the kill onto DM. See DM trying to get the ultimate going, but they've got a lot of disable. Cold snap kicking in. DM can't get the ult off. Oh, GPK. Gonna try and start things off here. They've got the grip to lock him down. He needs help, but they've got anything to stop this grip. They don't. GPK. Caught out from the high ground there. And top, Nitoro, he's gonna look to try and pick something more out of this as well as he's heading over to save. See the tornado angle coming from Toronto, Tokyo, and he lines it up brilliantly. So you set up. Well, they're coming in, collapse. Finger as well. And he's got Nightfall moving into position with the stone gaze. Collapse can't get out. At the same time, the fight kicking up the side. GPK has to be caught in the whip of the command. The boat comes crashing over the GPK. He's in the line. He's in for all the shots. He's stuck back down. He's getting away. He walks out of the whole team fight. They can't kill the Kunka. And VP, they've managed to move themselves on top of Toronto, Tokyo. He's trying to run, but the damage will not going to quite be done here. Toronto Tokyo also surviving somehow. Finally, GPK goes down in the river. And Jutoro will manage to wrap around and get on top of the Kunka. Yeah, he sniped him with a stun there at the end. But oh my god, those armlet toggles, those are crazy. He kept staying alive and it keeps fading Team Spirit into a bad position. Well, we're going to see them continue to try and fight here. Nightfall and DM, they turn towards Mirror, but now the chase from Yutoro comes out. VP, they've decided to bail out of this. They see Spirit just chasing them down. Save has been left over towards the mid here. Lead for and they know that they're not a lot of TP's ready. So. I mean, GPK, again, he tries to walk down to see what's going on, but they find him immediately. Drop the combo. GPK's trying to run collapse. He'll go over towards save. Start from Kingslayer. Holds back Miran collapse for Yutoro. Leads in with a primal spring. Closes in onto save. Confident. When they're fighting around, they're tied onto here. Collapse very, very strong. Jump on the Yutoro there. They found him up in the trees. The GPK, TP is coming in. Spirit, they may have lost their mid, but they will be able to get the trade on to VP's mid in return. This is all great space, though. You see Nightfall's just farming the jungle up the top lane. DM's just pushing out the waves. I think for even though it's a mid for mid trade, VP is coming out on top because they have both their cores farming out the side lanes and they're closing in on items that they really need. So great delays from VP. They're managing to keep this game even. <laughs> Starting off things in the mid, no jump. Collapse, committing with the Ravage. They want to blow up Nightfall before any sort of backup comes into play. Stone Gaze is used, but they'll quickly avert their eyes and they'll be ready to turn back in and slam. Collapse still being run down here. I mean, he's, he's fallen low, but he's not quite dead. Is he? He's finally going to go down. They will get the jump done, but now Nyatoro is in with the BKB, jumps along the back lines. Here's the Wukong's command out. There's Nightfall, Stone Gaze, and it's attempted to escape. DM also able to head off to the side mirror, keeping themselves on top of the Medusa. It's got to be a careful of Nightfall with that Scarlet. Try to fight them. So once we move into this map control state of the game, King Spirit are going to be favored. Monkey King here this game. VP. They are going to want to do something about Spirit getting this Roshan, but the Wukong's command is down. Yatoro daring them to step up into this. GPK will lead things up with the boat, but Yatoro commits with the BKB. They get the kill, VP, but Spirit, they get that. Just secure. Ravage out of the four of them. DM trying to take the bow, but the grip is holding him over. He's oh. on DM. He's able to stop. The GPK is going to charge him with the bow straight down onto the bane. The Poshka, he's gone. See what they can get from the jump from Collapse. The collapse. He's trying to get in on top of Nightfall, but Nightfall's focusing down Toronto Tokyo. The BKB comes out from Toronto, trying to run. GPK looking to try and get the catch on him, but he's too fast. DM, he's been left behind by the rest of his team. This time, DM out to start off the action.
See the buyback from him, Posh, because he's already heading immediately over to see if he can get some sort of grab onto the two of them. Now watch it for the high ground, but the stun comes out for you. Oh, the barrel is straight, straight in on top of them. Sunstrike's going to miss. GPK has got a reset for now. Pulling a little low. Yatoro looking to get on top of Nightfall, but the stone gaze is out. Yatoro jumps back up to the trees. The finger straight in onto Maposh because it's a die back on the vein. Forge Spirits and the Weaver as well. Yeah, absolutely. Nightfall. They're going to commit. Collapse. In with the Ravage. He's about caught the fourth of them. This is giving them good time to fully focus onto the Medusa. The brilliant grip there from Maposh as well. There's no way to VP to stop it. And now they've got to run. The Gushow under the two of them. Torrent off the mark. But Toronto Tokyo's heading into the high ground of the VK. He's got an ice wall. He's got the three of them. Battle is strike down. The pushback for the Deputy Bulls into the meatballs. As DM dies inside the base. And they're not even done yet. They're looking towards the tier four. Shitoro is going right up to the ancient. GPK's back to the foundry. A quick blink into the base. The sun strike. It'll hit. They're diving in. They want to. Place here, VP. Toronto Tokyo. It's going to give them a bit of a tickle to start the action off your Toro. He's ready to jump in those glass. Immediately with the Ravage, your second Ravage, locking down the four of them as Nightfall, completely out of mana, tried to run away with the BKB. The Earth Split will hold back your Toro for now, but Nightfall, can he really escape this? He cannot. The Medusa. Any respect to Team Spirit either, right? They, they're looking for the opportunities they have to win. Your BKB committed here for a quick one. Kingslayer's gone, but Toronto Tokyo is already in the base. He gets the lead and onto GPK. 20 seconds and Nightfall's back in action. All right, the buyback from Kingslayer. Yeah. Oh, they're looking for safe, save. He's he looking he's pretty dead here. He's the damage that he can in the form of Mana Drain. <laughs> given to him as the smoke ups here from Spirit. They line him up, they're in again, collapse. Straight in with the first round, he blocks the refresher into the second. Nightfall is gone. Has got buyback this time around, but the GPK has been caught by the grim. Maposhka with the lockdown. GPK is out of the game for two minutes. TM is trying to take it back to safety here with the rift, but the agents exposed. GPK dead. Yatoro and the team looking to close things up. As Nightfall, he's trying to draw their attention away from the Ancient. Can he do so successfully? Atoro's committing. They want to just close it. They're looking for the game. They're looking for the objective. They'll get it. GG.